Pete the Cat and the Easter Basket Bandit. One Easter morning, Pete the Cat discovers his Easter basket is missing. Oh no! Where is my Easter basket? He asks. I owe you Easter basket. Pete looks everywhere. It's not here or there. It's not anywhere. Then Pete spots a bright blue dot on the floor. It's a jelly bean, Pete's favorite. Pete finds another, then another, and another. It's a whole trail of colorful jelly beans. Hmm, says Pete. I wonder if these will lead me to my basket. Pete follows the jelly beans down the street and around the corner to <laughs> Callie's house. Callie, have you seen my Easter basket? Pete asks. No, says Callie. But I see a trail of candy eggs. Let's follow it, says Pete. Pete and Callie follow the candy eggs through the yard and across a field to <laughs> Alligator's house. Alligator, have you seen Pete's Easter basket? Asks Callie. I haven't, says Alligator. But look at this trail of marshmallow chicks. We should see where it goes, says Pete. Pete and Callie and Alligator follow the marshmallow chicks around the pond to... <laughs> Gus's house. Gus, have you seen Pete's Easter basket? Asks Alligator. It's not here, says Gus. But there are all these lollipops on the ground. It's a lollipop trail, says Callie. Let's follow it. So Pete and Callie and Alligator and Gus follow the lollipops out the door and up the path to... <laughs> Turtle's house. Turtle, have you seen Pete's Easter basket? Asks Gus. No, says Turtle. But look, there are a bunch of chocolate bunnies leading that way. Let's go! Everyone shouts. Pete and Callie and Alligator and Gus and Turtle follow the chocolate bunny trail to the playground. It goes under the swings and down the slide and around the monkey bars to a colorful little house in the garden. It looks like the trail ends here, says Turtle. But before Pete can knock, the door swings open and everyone gasps. <gasps> it's the Easter Bunny. Easter Bunny, have you seen my Easter basket? Asks Pete. The Easter Bunny looks sad. Yes, he says, I have it. Every year I deliver all the Easter baskets, but I never get one of my own. So I borrowed yours, the Easter Bunny sniffles. <laughs> I was going to bring it back soon. I'm very sorry, Pete. Pete smiles and hugs the Easter Bunny. That's okay, says Pete. I understand. Then Pete has a great idea. He puts some of his candy in an empty basket. He asks Callie and Alligator and Gus and Turtle to all add candy from their baskets too. Soon the new basket is bursting with treats. Pete hands the basket to the Easter Bunny. Happy Easter, Pete says. This one is just for you. The Easter Bunny is so happy. Thank you so much, everyone, he says, and gleefully eats a jelly bean from his first ever Easter basket. Pete and his friends promise to make the Easter Bunny a basket every year from now on. Sharing is the sweetest gift of all. 
Stay tuned for four one-minute Easter stories. Happy Easter from the crayons. The crayons are getting ready for Easter. Red crayon decorates a circle. That is not an egg. Are you gonna color an egg? Nope. Orange crayon decorates a square. Hey, that is not an egg. No, but it is the color of the sun. Yellow crayon decorates a triangle. That is totally not an egg. No, but it is the color of the sun. Esteban decorates a rectangle. That is definitely not an egg. No, but my gosh, look how magnificent it is. White crayon decorates a star. That's not an egg also. Did you even color it? Yes, I colored it, thank you very much. Blue crayon decorates a rhombus. I know, not an egg. Don't start with me, purple. I need a nap. Purple crayon is super confused. No one is decorating an egg. Yes, we are. Oh, now I get it. Hmm, but where are we going to hide this thing? Ooh, ooh, I know. Nothing to see here. Happy Easter. Happy Easter, little Pookie. Come look, little Pookie. There are daffodils here. Yes, spring is beginning and Easter is near. Lello. And I have a surprise on this excellent day. Your little friend Bean has come over to play. Bean, pook. So much bouncing around on your hoppity legs. Have you had enough hopping? Let's go decorate eggs. We have egg paints and crayons and stickers galore. You can decorate eggs till there aren't any more. And now, silly rabbits, your play date is done. Bye bye, Bean. Bye bye, Pook. Thank you for coming. We hope you had fun. The great Easter Bunny will be visiting soon to hide baskets and eggs by the light of the moon. And then in the morning, we scurry outside. We will look for the places where Easter eggs hide. But first you must sleep, dreaming of spring and all of the wonders tomorrow will bring. Night night, my little Pookie. Sweet dreams. Little Chick With a crack Little Chick hatches out of his egg First he flutters his wings Then he wiggles his legs Now up and about Little Chick wants to eat He hops through the yard And finds his first treat As he takes in the world Little Chick sings loving the sun and the flowers it brings. But although Little Chick loves his new home, he wishes that he weren't there all alone. He walks by two eggs and that's when he hears a peep and a cheep, a small crack appears. Out comes a chick and after another. Now Little Chick has a sister and brother. Easter. Tasty chocolate ready to eat. Easter eggs are a special treat. Tulips are a real delight. The colors are so bold and bright. Hiding eggs everywhere. The Easter bunny loves to share. Pretty bluebirds chirp and sing. Their babies all hatch out in spring. Daffodils stand so tall, the proudest flower of them all. Little lamb wants to play. He skips and frolics every day. Fluffy chicks start to appear, spreading lots of Easter cheer. It's Easter time, spring is here. It's such a colorful time of year.